Thank you for watching Ascended Stars Glass Heart Divination. And um, I'm back. So um, I never finished my series Venus Retrograde. I got um, really crazy busy and the retrograde, so the Mercury retrograde came online. So I do apologize for that. We have lots of energy con to contend with. Um, I have a new deck that I got um, to treat myself. I was like, oh, I went out with a friend and uh, we went deck shopping and of course I got a deck of tarot that I fell in love with. It's um, Romanesque. It's like Greek, Greek mythology type of, of deal, but it's really, really pretty. So uh, let's continue. I'm going to do Virgo, okay? My beautiful Virgos, you've been hanging on. And um, this is the theme of Venus retrograde in shadow till May 18th. And um, we have a lot of, now we have... Um, She's going direct, but she's going to be in shadow to the 18th. So we do have to take a look at that, like uh, make be aware of the fact that relationships are still not 100% online. Okay, um, so I'm going to do the Celtic cross and see what is um, the energies, see what's up ahead for uh, that period. Okay, that's what this is going to be. Um, and it is the love zone, the love zone. All right. Uh, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you, everyone who's subscribed, who has watched, who's commented, um, who's taken me up on my special. And um, it's been very humbling. To, honestly, it's been really, really humbling. Um, I just love my my clients so much and, and all my, my watchers. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, I feel blessed. So... Um, you might hear some background noise because of the ambulances. This is, uh, you know, done from the home. I have no control. I'm not in a studio or anything. So um, sounds happen <laughs> from the outside that I can't control. All right. So let's see what we have. Let's move forward. Virgo. We have the devil. Okay. That is the current energy. Um, it's still probably uh, feeling attached to someone, moving, wanting to move forward. Um wanting to move forward okay but the way I look at this card a lot of the time is um, if you know yourself well you know your vices you know what's gonna stump you you know your weaknesses you know your strengths you know them and you're completely honest with them this card during the retrograde energy we have Saturn in Capricorn coming in a couple days so this could have something to do with it on, on, on the 20th it's gonna go um, offline so Saturn is um, asking us to review some information, some some energy that we've already uh, crossed through uh, planetary wise. And it says, um, am I walking the correct path? Am I walking and fulfilling my dreams with the correct people in my life? You know, the connections, you, you feel bonded by them or you feel tied to them. You have obligations or, um, you know, uh, are you walking supported maybe even instead of uh, pushed down maybe supported am i putting in the dedicated efforts professionally in my love and in my uh career so this is major arcana playing energy and what let's see the way where the past is well you walked away from a lot of toxic things uh my virgos so you've managed to walk away but the universe is also uh, presenting us with the lesson having us go through this energy again okay um also maybe if somebody comes back are you gonna are you gonna be feel tied to them are you going to um go back to a toxic situation that is not healthy for uh the virgo and what is crossing you the ten of cups see oh my god this is amazing so i do feel like this is kind of a test the universe is going to put upon us um giving us a challenge that we're going to have to face and then um really saying you know what is what is you know you have to fight you have to really go for what you want to, to receive this con full-on contentment to receive this uh, beautiful energy that's coming online okay um okay so what's beneath us the ace of wands okay well you are gonna feel pretty darn sexy and inspired um 
physically uh it's going to be wonderful mars is going into gemini okay that's our sister brother sign and um mars is a fiery element you could have bouts of anger be careful with your communication skills you could say things the wrong way especially during a retrograde and um i think I really, really, really think and believe that Mars and Gemini going online, Mars being the masculine, um, young energy to go for it, to do things, um, is going to give Gemini ideas. Okay, so be careful. You Gemini is the twins. If they have um, that, uh, well, the good twin, the bad twin, I want to, I don't want to, you know, uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Very, you know, contradictory, kind of like a little bit stagnant energy, but it's going to be with Mars, which is the warrior. So it's going to maybe give us ideas on how to fix things that we need to fix our love lives, our where we're stuck in our careers, all of that. Beautiful, beautiful energy, I feel. Okay, and then what is your crowning thoughts? The fool, the fool, okay? You're ready to just go to journey into something new. Um, you are, you know, feeling fresh. The, the, the slate has been clean. Um, the past is is the past. You're, you're in a good place here, okay? The universe is also uh, protecting you and helping you and making sure that you are protected. So, yay, yay, yay. The future card. Things are slipping from my hand. Four of Wands, okay? You're really shooting for the stability. You're really shooting for um, something solid and you're going with your passions. You're going for the things that uh, impassion you, that, that you desire. Um, a lot of, I see the crown chakra with, with the king there. Um, it looks like he's got a pentacle even on his chest, but this is a wand. So, um, really setting up yourself uh, the saturn i think energy playing hard uh with the virgos really setting up um for the future and and having a good good um foundation a good uh strong place to 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 you know make your your whatever it is you want to build from that this point on um okay how do you feel about yourself virgo the star another major arcana so you, Wow, so you're following that dream. Look how gorgeous this is. This is like Pandora, but it's beautiful because it's got butterflies coming out of it. It's got rainbow energy there. Um, she's looking at the star. She knows who she is. She lives in her truth, her vulnerability, her truth, which is what Virgo represents. Virgo is going into the North Node, uh, leaving the North Node, um, and Leo's coming in next month in May, I believe. So um, this is huge, okay? This is doing... Um, a lot of good good energy here a lot of support from uh, this major arcana energy uranus is going into shadow so um this is this is really great great stuff coming up down the line down the pipeline um okay so what what are your hopes and fears ace of cups well yeah feeling <laughs> getting over overwhelmed with the feelings and um have maybe you know, this is part of, I see the ocean. This is part of letting go of what we held on to um, and, and having a new emotion and feeling deserving of this new emotion and value, having the value enough to um, pursue what we really want and, and get rid of the past. This is, you know, we're stuck in the past here with this um, devil card. You know, the, this, the devil represents the past, doing things in the old way. That's going to be challenging. Um, two cups, the, this is going to, uh, this is crossing the devil. So um, going to your higher self and, and going for your happiness. Okay. You deserve happiness, Virgo. You're, you know, it's been a tough time. These energies have not been easy on us. And um, here's a new emotion coming. And this is yet, yeah, you hope for this so super badly and then yet you want um you it's really intense because you you want to live in the past you want you can't let go of the past just you're, you're stuck with something from the past that um is hindering you all right so uh this is the advice from the future king of swords all right so this is um this is advice from the universe into the future um and and um so this is this is king of swords so this is take, take care of your legal matters you know saturn does want to make sure that you have everything cleared up um your you know here in the states is the taxes or anything legal that you need to deal with um 
this is a good time to go over it. I feel like, you know, from now and then September, it's going to go back online, Saturn. So this is the year to really propel us to get into what we need to get into. Um, not using our emotions too much. He's kind of callous, cold, a little bit, um, a little scientific, a little, you know, he, he, he's, he, he separates his emotions from his um, logic. So going logically into things, probably Gemini, the Mars energy in that um, in that time frame. Um, and I feel the Taurian energy too, because we're going into May here. And it's about, you know, really getting everything. Um, it kind of goes hand in hand here. Really, you know, building a good em foundation for your empire, for your business, for your home, for your um, all the all the fundamentals to propel you and, and not being emotional about it. Just going, doing it, being logical straightforward okay he makes a choice he does it he doesn't he doesn't put any emotion to it fantastic all right so i hope you like that um we are going to just do some questions all right this is, has to be so short and sweet because i gotta get these all the rest out so um borrowing time <laughs> i'm borrowing time all right so let's do the um the main part of the of the uh, reading here, the love, which everyone loves, the love everybody loves. All right, so this new energy, I've been getting a lot of a lot of information here. This new energy, um, it's so interesting, and it's it, there's a pattern going on, and there's so many people who don't want to move into the future. They, um. They just kind of got blind slides cited that a new energy has come on come online. Uh, the nodes are moving and all of that. And they they've kind of just feel like they've awoken now. They've awoken now. And um all right, so let's see. I'm gonna do these uh what does he feel? What does she feel? But I gotta see how I'm gonna set it up because I don't have much space here and I, I don't know how to yeah, I guess I guess you guys can see it, huh? Oh, I need to make it like this because I don't want to confuse. All right. Um Okay. So there this new energy um has come online for some and they're like um People who've just woken up. I'm a first waiver, and I think there's like second waivers from the um, February eclipse that happened. That is really uh, shocking. People really kind of like they're realizing I need to. I need to. I, I feel like I just woke up, and I, I, I'm woken up, and I what do, what do I need to do? Where do I need to move? Um, when is he gonna come? When is she gonna come? Um, what are they gonna do? Um, what should I do, you know, with this new energy and ready to they're just pumped and ready to move because they're, they've got they've been stagnant for so long and they're just finally realizing that, you know, time is an, of an essence. So. All right. So let's see. Um, so my main my main thing is um, as I'll go, I'll go through it here. OK, um, this is the energy of what she feels and this is the energy of what he feels you might be resonating with the masculine with the feminine and um the math and the masculine might resonate with the feminine um these are energies this is probably like this what is um strongest who's playing this this role stronger in within the relationship okay you don't have to be dating a fellow virgo i make the intention here that um this is you as a virgo feminine and your partner is feeling this um energy is fluid and uh sometimes you know we just meet our um energetic partner in for our spirit best spiritual growth so we're, this is the template of virgo's best spiritual growth within relationships so let's go on and see um how this works out if you want your own personal reading, of course, this is so different. You know, you could, you could really put your energy into the cards and then his or her energy into the cards and, you know, make it directly specifically between your two energies. Um, now, this is just a general collective consciousness. Um, I will not be answering any questions um, online about if you understand or don't understand. Please move on to the next tarot reader. There's hundreds out there who can help you. I may not be the one for you. you please check your uh, rising moon. And um, 
ascendant or, or, or your main sign. Um, what else? Okay, I, I can't figure anything else. So let's move on. So let's see. What does she feel about him? She's enchanted, okay? Uh, the Virgo is enchanted here. Um, when she thinks about him, what does she feel about him? He's a blessing. It's like finally this guy gets it. Finally this guy that, you know, um, or, or, or this partner, because I don't put gender on it. This partner is really amazing and I feel blessed that they're in my life. And it's popping out the creativity, you know. Um, I feel... I can create with this individual. I feel I can create away from this individual and I just feel creative and beautiful because you're living in the highest, um, the highest of your energy. Uh, okay, so next, what does uh, she want most from this partner? She wants to be recognized. Um, is there? Are they in communication? Are they? Are they in real time right now? Or is it still ethereal time? Um, a lot of a lot of uh, partners and soulmates and twins have not come to union yet. They're still desiring, wanting, and stuck because of this retrograde energy. Wow. So this could be like a past life relationship that goes back online. Um, and not. And I when I say past life, I mean like. You guys might have known each other in a past life, okay? Um, I just started watching this show. It's so great on Netflix, um, which is of East End. And they talk a lot about the past life and how they get they get into it. You know, they do the pictorials on when they were, they had their past lives and what who they were. And that's kind of exactly what I'm talking about when I mention past life. Like, you know, we've done things and we've, we've been places. And um, so it's it's... A blessing because you guys in the astral vessels before we came into our physical vessels we made an agreement to meet at some point in time now we all have free will and things happen so hopefully things are now connecting us together but um, this is a love that is gonna feel familiar it's strong that's what you know you're, you you feel so blessed with it um, birthing Okay, so what does she want most from the masculine is um, not that she wants to give a baby to them, but that this could be it too. But she wants to, you know, it's above creativity. She wants to be living in her highest element. She wants to create with this individual. She wants to be supported by this individual. She wants to live in that loving energy of, of creativity um, and growth, I think, of moving forward. Okay, and then we're going to ask, um, what is she going to do? What is the feminine going to do? She's still in recovery mode. She's uh, understanding that love is the key. Um, love is the highest vibration. And she's using her wisdom um, to stay in her power. Okay. And and so not so much a doing, going outwards, but reflecting and calling her power back to her and being um, in her power. She's still confused. That's, you know, she's still confused as well because we do have this Venus. I am doing this for May 18th. Venus retrograde energy does go out of shadow. So, um, the, you know, there's still confusion. There's still, you know, uh, limiting beliefs that are holding her and um, probably doubt and insecurities. Okay, this is all internal energy. If you look at it, enlightenment, again, wisdom, going within, working on her inner child template, okay? Um, loving on herself so she can love another. All right, now we're going to move to the masculine. What does he feel about her? Okay, what does he feel about her? Golden memories. So um, this could be a past connection coming in um but he's he's i feel more than anything i feel like he feels fired up now he feels like passionate we see this fiery energy here and he's done he's been doing the shadow work he it's taken him a while he's gone within um doing the the shadow energy work working on himself figuring out his relationships with other feminines his mother um those connections that, he, that he's had and he ha now he's just you know pumped up he's fired up and he's passionate so he is um that's a beautiful energy really I, I like that okay and how does he feel this came in upside down so this um could be just a, like a little saying it says guardian but he he doesn't feel yet like he can um be an outward energy it feels like he needs to work on himself so he can feel like he can protect her and he can um support her like she wants to be supportive in the creativity aspect um excuse me 
<clears throat> Sorry, I had to cough. All right. Um, and yeah, he feels that there will be spiritual growth with this partner and he knows it. And that's why, you know, he needs to correct himself, um, empower himself and work with his angels about how he's going to be in her life. And he's still in the shadows thinking about how he's going to approach her, how he's going to go at it. Um, perhaps afraid of rejection as well. Uh, what does he want most from the feminine? Uh, he wants to make sure that she can care for him. Um, yeah, you know, not ostracize him, perhaps not, not, um, critique him and that she's got it together. Like that's kind of an important energy for, uh, the masculine with the, uh, Virgo feminine energy. He, he wants to make sure that she's not needy and she's not, um, and she's self-sufficient. Okay. I get that strongly. Again, uh, we have immunity. Um, he wants to feel that he is protected with her. Um, I probably, you know, this finances has to do with it here. Because, you know, if she's self-sufficient, then he feels safe. And he feels like, oh, well, all the all the pressure and the old template of the man has to run the house. The man has to pay all the bills. Um, that's dissolving. Okay. And, the, and they're feeling that. And, and so um, immunity really has to do with... Uh, feeling like she's going to carry her own weight. And if, if I fall ill, she'll be able to do stuff. Um, or if, you know, if I, um, I lose my job temporarily, she'll be able to continue and help and be self-sufficient and not, you know, because the Virgo feminine is known for being, she's very uh, independent. Yeah. But she can be over caring overly, you know, so, um, it has to be a balance. I feel, I feel that energy has to be balanced. And what does um, he want most from her? He wants it to keep it simple, okay? Don't overdo it. Don't over uh, get over emotional. Don't make it something, you know, give it the relationship titles before it's time. Let it, let that play on. Um, don't over uh, get over, over excited, I feel. Like just, it's a soft pink. So just love on him, uh, um, the masculine and... Um, you know, you guys are down to earth, but it's been so long that, you know, you might, it's like a water, having water in the desert where you're like, oh, finally, you know, you, you consume it and you want it. And, and, and then it kind of repels because that energy repels each other. Okay. And what is uh, he going to do? He's working too, as well on his sacral chakra moving forward. Um, this is a very important chakra right now that's getting lit up. Um, for many and it's um how we move forward our, our worth um it's our guilt it's our shame it's um everything that you know every sec every partner we've sexually been intimate with uh and this also has to do you know with toxic relationships and um you know uh bad things too you know it, not incest incest but um what's the other one um abuse you know, not honoring our vessel. It's, it's, it's needs to, you know, this is the, the, this new energy is healing all of those wounds, healing all of that. So they've been working on that template, you know, um, the masculine, you know, is uh, a phallus, you know, going out typically. And it's about dumping their stuff, you know, dumping on the woman and then moving on and taking their energy and not giving back. And, and so it's like a real renew of, of thoughts of forms on that. Like, you know, I, um, being more available emotionally there and connecting, not just having sex for sex, but connecting the spirit, the mind, the body, when you have sex, this is so cool. This is so cool. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. They, they're calling in their soulmate. It really is a going inward, um, really thinking about what they want in a partner, really honoring themselves, um, and, and not just, uh, having sex for sex for more for their self-satisfaction, but for, uh, the union and being in unison and, um, you know, reaching the divine with two people who are, um, you know, in their presence, in, in their, in their, in their center, gorgeous energy. And so he's working hard, you know, he's, he just kind of, that's, that's his deal right now. That's the masculine, um, very true to their pentacle nature. The king of pentacles in his mature form is, um, taking care of business. So yeah. Um, 
still a lot of this retrograde energy i'm not surprised there's really not too much action going on now let's see what the love is um healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so this has a, a huge thing to do for the masculine about uh the healing that, um within the family that they were incarnated in and um fixing that father <sighs> father son relationship um father mother relationship uh okay so that's also past life template too playing it out itself out and then the feminine pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so don't get too um don't go too too fast and furious about like in a relationship and and also wanting it and desiring it because venus retrograde causes the desire for the relationship but um because that's her main quality, relationship, love, finances. But um, in retrograde, it, there will always be uh, out of balance energy where one partner is going to be more needy than the other. Why didn't you text me when you got home? You know, what, what are you doing right now? And it's like one is going to have to be like, well, I'm just home, you know, making egg, making boiled eggs for Easter and, and just chilling. I had a long week, um, you know, and it's like one has to overcompensate. Like it should be, oh, honey, yeah, I understand. You need to rest. Um, you know, I know you had a hard week and uh, we'll just connect when we connect. OK, that's a balanced individual. So the, the, the Venus retrograde makes it unbalanced where one needs is more needy than the other when you instigate these relationships. And that's what I'm talking about when I say don't do it, folks, because you, that's going to be the whole energy. And then when the when the planet goes back online, it's like you start realizing, wow, man, you are needy. So, um, <laughs> oh, God, I know. I'm sorry. I am a little weird. All right. So let's see. Let's see what we have here with um, the Norman past, present, future. And uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. What's going on for the Virgos? What's going on? Spirit, Lord, let us know. This is till May 18th, until Venus goes back online, but we still have Jupiter offline June 9th, so that'll be, what, another 30 days? It's 10 weeks, folks. It's about 10 weeks from now, okay? This is um, being filmed on the 17th, so it's 10 weeks to really um, get your game on, get, get your diet, lose some weight, flatten the tummy. Uh, straighten the butt, um, you know, and look good because you're going to be popping on June, okay? And things are going to be going really cool, really well. You'll be uh, a lot more centered and, um, okay, so let's see what we have. Okay, just think about event energy to, to rejuvenate on yourself, focus on yourself. That's what I think. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. This is nice. I like it. I, I personally like it because um, I don't want to, you know, this is, it is, okay. All right. So the past um, and what's, what we're leaving is uh, Virgo. This is the Virgo and North Node. Cutting, be having discernment. Um, Persephone, the goddess of harvest, um, you know, cutting the wheat from the grain and really uh, deciding what's going to work in your life and what's not and cutting out people who don't work toxic relationships that's been a big theme beautiful beautiful virgo yay now um there's a message that's going to come within this time between now and the 18th but hopefully across my fingers and it, it'll be from um the masculine or the masculine is thinking about this message there, there it may not come but there is like you might get dreams you might get feelings you might feel good um I think the masculine is thinking about, you know, connecting on the internet, on the uh, somehow um, calling, texting, whatever. And um, this is a big theme. It's going to be positive, good news. OK, and it's about perhaps going on a future date. Isn't that wonderful? OK, so um, I'll leave it at that. It's, it's, it's ambu ambiguous, but that's all I got. This is a retrograde energy, so please be very aware of that. Now, I'm going to leave you with one Archangel Guidance card because I don't have time. Now, my personal readings are so different. Um, I have an April special. Uh, reach me at ascendedstars at gmail.com if you resonated with any of this or if you just want your own personal reading. And that's just a, um, my April special is an energetic reading, but it really covers a lot. I don't do things based on time. I do them on what the messages are for you, okay? So um, ascendedstars at gmail.com. Go down to my description box. You'll see all my contact information. 
it takes a lot of time for me to get these videos out I have I'm a busy woman you know so I appreciate if you guys could donate um, a dollar would be a, just anything you know would be really helpful just to keep these up because at one point in time I may have to just suspend them in longer amounts of time all right here we go clairvoyance Archangel Raziel I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love <gasps> Wow so you're going online if you hear things on the radio songs and meanings um, they're, they're your your spiritual gifts are heightening right now as well and um, you know this is a great energy because I think of I think of um, you know I see this wand and it's all the chakras like really clearing up and I, you know I was talking about the sacral chakra for the masculine really clearing up that energy and coming from a, a centered place and um, harnessing our divine gifts and moving forward from there thank you have a wonderful um meantime you know between now and may um i'm gonna try to be popping more of these videos up but like i said any help um you know you taking even the energetic readings that helps me um help you on your spiritual path and i have a lot of things down the line that i want to create and do i'm in a very creative space right now so i thank you for allowing me to be here for you watching and um, i totally appreciate you and your comments and your support god bless bye bye